we will discuss the steps in a menstrual cycle to understand how the egg develops. During a woman's fertile years, her ovaries will go through about 450 ovarian or menstrual cycles. During each cycle, a number of haploid eggs will begin to mature, but usually only one egg cell from one or the other ovary will mature completely and be released while the others will degenerate. This time is particularly painful for most females as part of the endometrium ruptures and sheds off, giving rise to abdominal cramps, headaches, muscle pain, bloating, diarrhea or constipation to name a few. These are often accompanied by mood swings. The symptoms vary among females. Before the cycle starts, inside the ovary there are many developing follicles. The young follicles are called primary follicles. Each primary follicle consists of a potential egg cell surrounded by a layer of smaller cells, known as follicle cells. The primary follicle may grow to maturity, and a mature follicle is known as a graphene follicle. The graphene follicle contains an egg surrounded by follicle cells and fluid-filled space. At about the 14th day from the beginning of menstruation, the graphene follicle ruptures and releases the egg into the oviduct funnel. This is called ovulation. After the ovulation, the leftover follicle develops into corpus luteum. The corpus luteum will still persist for some time and then break down. The production of hormones will be stopped and the menstrual cycle will start over. Events during menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle normally spans over 28 days. There is a natural variation in the length of this cycle and it can range from 21 to 33 days. Day 1 to 5, phase 1. The first day of menstruation is day one of the menstrual cycle. The endometrium breaks down and flows out of the body. Mostly, the first five days are characterized by heavy bleeding. Day six to 13, phase two. The ovaries secrete estrogen, which starts the repair and growth of the endometrium. Endometrium becomes thicker and bleeding stops completely. On day 14, a mature ovum is released from the ovaries. The graphene follicle becomes corpus luteum. This cell, the corpus luteum, releases progesterone along with some estrogen. Progesterone causes the uterine lining to remain thick and soft, well supplied by blood vessels. And endometrium is ready for pregnancy. Day 11 to 17, phase 3. This is the fertile phase of the menstrual cycle. Sperms deposited in the vagina from day 11 onwards can fertilize the ovum which is released from the ovaries on day 14. The ovum can survive for one to two days after ovulation, while sperms can survive for two to three days in the female reproductive system. Hence, fertilization is possible up to day 17. Day 18 to 28, phase four. The rest of the days make up the infertile phase of the menstrual cycle. Sexual intercourse during this period is unlikely to result in fertilization since no ovum is present. Thank you for your continuous support especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.